acceleration. What comes to your mind when we use the term acceleration? Well, many consider acceleration as moving with high speed. But acceleration does not mean going in high speed. To be more precise, acceleration means change in velocity. We have already studied that velocity is speed with direction and speed gives us the value of velocity. Let's take up an example to understand acceleration. In this example, there is a car which is at point A and you can see that the velocity of the car is 0 meters per second which means that the car is in a state of rest. The car starts and after 10 seconds, the car reaches point B. At point B, the velocity of the car is found to be 40 meters per second. So, is there a change in velocity? Definitely yes, because initially the velocity of the car was 0 meters per second when, when it was in a state of rest. And slowly the velocity of the car increased and finally when the car reached point B, its velocity was found to be 40 meters per second. So there is an increase in the velocity. So definitely there is a change in velocity that has taken place in the car. So we say that the car is accelerated. Let's take the second case. Here you can see that at point P, the car is moving with a velocity of 50 meters per second. Brakes are applied by the driver and the car reaches point Q after 10 seconds and at point Q the velocity of the car is found to be 0 meters per second. So is there a change in velocity? Well yes. Initially the velocity of the car was 50 meters per second and after applying brakes the velocity of the car went on decreasing such that the final velocity became 0 meters per second. So, whenever there is a change in velocity, we say that the object is accelerated. So, in this case, the car has accelerated. Let's consider the third case. Here, you can see that a car is moving with a constant speed of 50 meters per second. But, it changes its direction. So, is the car accelerating? The answer is yes. Now we say that velocity is speed with direction. Though the velocity of the car has a constant magnitude, but what is happening? The direction is constantly changing. Now many students have a misconception that since there is no change in the velocity, there is no acceleration. But you must keep one thing in mind that velocity is a vector quantity and a vector quantity has both magnitude as well as direction. So even though the magnitude is constant, the direction is changing and velocity of an object can change with the change in magnitude or change in direction or change in both magnitude as well as direction. So even though the speed is constant, that is the velocity does not change with time, the direction changes and therefore here the velocity of the car changes and therefore the car is getting accelerated. Let's study this particular case. Here the car is at point P and when it is at point P, it is moving with a velocity of 20 meters per second. After 10 seconds, the car reaches point Q and at point Q, once again when the velocity is recorded, the velocity of the car is still the same, 20 meters per second. So, is the car accelerating? The answer is no. Why? The speed of the car is constant while moving from point Q, P to point Q. 
that means the velocity has not changed also the car is moving along a same straight line would have been there a change in the direction of the car even if the car would have been moving with constant velocity we could have concluded by saying that the car has accelerated but the car has not changed its direction it is moving along a same straight line and there is no change in the velocity of the car which means the car ha has not accelerated so what do you read in the first case i'm accelerating because i'm speeding up so you can see that the boy is running and as he runs he picks up pace and his speed increases so when he is speeding up that means there is a change in velocity of the boy that means the boy is accelerating let's see what the second example tells us i'm accelerating because i'm slowing down so here you can see a boy on skates and as he is moving the speed of the skates goes on decreasing so that means the velocity is changing once again when there is a change in velocity it means that the object is accelerating see the third example i'm accelerating because i'm changing direction so there is a butterfly and the butterfly is constantly changing its direction as it is flying that means whenever there is a change in direction once again there is a change in velocity and whenever there is a change in velocity it means that the object is accelerating so after going through all these examples have you understood one thing how can the velocity of an object be changed velocity of an object can be changed by increasing the speed of the object or by decreasing the speed of the object or by changing its direction of motion now here you can see that a ball is thrown in the upward direction so can you tell me is the ball accelerating well yes when the ball is thrown in the upward direction initially it is moving with some speed and as it moves in the upward direction its speed becomes zero or i can say that when an object is thrown in the upward direction it has some velocity when the object reaches to a certain height the velocity of the object becomes zero that means suppose if the ball is thrown in the upward direction with a velocity of 30 meters per second and as the ball moves upward the velocity will go on decreasing and at a certain point the velocity becomes 0 meters per second that means when the velocity is changing from 30 meters per second to 0 meters per second definitely there is a change in velocity that means the ball is accelerated let's take the other case a ball is thrown in the downward direction when a ball is thrown from a certain height its initial velocity is taken as 0 meters per second when the ball moves in the downward direction it starts speeding up and when it reaches the ground it has a high velocity so once again there is a change in velocity when a ball is thrown from a certain height in the downward direction so once again we can say that the ball is accelerating when it is thrown in the downward direction take a stone and tie it to a thread hold one end of the thread in your hand and start circulating the stone the stone now starts moving in circular direction so in this case is the stone accelerating yes in this case when the stone is moving along a circular path its velocity changes by equal amounts in equal intervals of time but what is happening here as the stone is moving with uniform circular motion though it has got constant speed there is a change in the direction of the stone so what have we studied that velocity is speed with direction so even though the magnitude of speed remains constant 
the stone experiences a change in direction and whenever there is a change in the magnitude of speed or there is a change in the direction or there is a change in both speed as well as direction it means that the object is getting accelerated so in this case as the stone is moving with a constant velocity the there is a change in direction and therefore the stone gets accelerated so let's define acceleration acceleration is not just change of velocity it is the rate of change of velocity that is the change of velocity divided by time is called as acceleration whenever we use the term rate it means divided by time so when change in velocity is divided by time we get acceleration so acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity now acceleration is a vector quantity because acceleration is change in velocity upon time and velocity is a vector quantity therefore acceleration also needs direction and therefore acceleration is also a vector quantity so you can see what is the formula of acceleration acceleration is equal to change in velocity upon time now there are certain letters that we use to denote in the formula so if we say that the initial velocity of the object is equal to u the final velocity of the object is v and time is given by the letter t then acceleration a is equal to final velocity that is v minus initial velocity u upon time t so a is equal to v minus u upon t what are the units of acceleration in si system the unit of acceleration is meter per second square and in cgs system the unit of acceleration is centimeters per second square uniform and non uniform acceleration to understand uniform acceleration let us first look at the table which is given below the first table that is on the left hand side here the time and the velocity of an object is recorded you can see that the time recordings is considered to be after equal intervals that means the time is given as 0 seconds 1 seconds 2 seconds 3 seconds 4 seconds and the velocity of the object like for example the object is at rest so at 0 seconds the velocity of the object is 0 meters per second after 1 second the velocity of the object is recorded to be 4 meters per second after 2 seconds the velocity is recorded as 8 meters per second after 3 seconds velocity is 12 meters per second and after 4 seconds the velocity is 16 meters per second so we can see that the velocity is measured after equal intervals of time what is the time gap 1 second also check what is the difference between the two consecutive velocities 4 minus 0 will be 4 8 minus 4 will be 4 12 minus 8 is 4 and 16 minus 12 is 4 that means the velocity of the object is changing in equal amounts in equal intervals of time or there is an equal change in velocity of the body in equal intervals of time so whenever we find that there are equal changes in velocity of the body in equal intervals of time then acceleration is uniform now there are some examples of uniform acceleration in day to day life if a car is moving on a straight traffic free road then only it can move with uniform acceleration or when a ball is rolling on an inclined plane the ball moves with uniform acceleration when a ball falls towards the earth under the influence of earth's gravity alone we call it as free fall so a ball falling under free fall is also an example of uniform acceleration now let let's look at the second table on the right hand side here you can see that the time is recorded and there is the there is a equal gap in the duration of time 0 second 1 second 2 second 3 second 4 second so time intervals is equal but look at the velocity when the car or when the object is at rest at 0 seconds the velocity of the object is 0 meters per second 
After one second, the velocity of the object is one meters per second. After two seconds, the velocity is four meters per second, and so on. Now, if you consider the difference between the two consecutive velocities, let's take the first and the second. So, zero and one. So, one minus zero will be one meters per second. The difference in the velocities will be one meters per second. Let's take second and third. Four minus one will give me three meters per second. Five minus four again one meters per second. Seven minus five is equal to two meters per second. So. is there an equal change in velocity in equal intervals of time no here we see that there are unequal changes in velocity of the object but in equal intervals of time so such an acceleration where we find that an object shows unequal changes in velocity but in equal intervals of time this kind of acceleration is called as non uniform acceleration so we define non uniform acceleration as if there are unequal changes in velocity of an object in equal intervals of time then the acceleration is said to be non uniform a simple example of uniform acceleration on the, in our day to day life is whenever a car is moving on a straight road with traffic it cannot move with constant velocity the velocity keeps on changing therefore the movement of a car on a straight road with traffic is an example of non uniform acceleration now let's study types of acceleration there are three types of acceleration positive acceleration negative acceleration and zero acceleration so let's see the first type of acceleration positive acceleration once again look at the table an object has velocity 0 meters per second at 0 seconds that means object is completely in a state of rest it has not started moving at all after 1 second when the velocity is recorded the velocity is 2 meters per second after 2 seconds the velocity becomes 4 meters per second so what is happening here as the time period goes on increasing we find that with increase in time the velocity of the object goes on increasing 0 2 4 6 8 the velocity is going on increasing so whenever the velocity of an object increases with time then the acceleration is called as positive acceleration same way if we take example b the velocity of the object at 0 seconds is minus 8 meters per second after 1 second the velocity increases to minus 6 meters per second after 2 seconds the velocity increases to minus 4 seconds and so on so here as well we see that the velocity of an object increases with time therefore it is an example of positive acceleration negative acceleration example an object is moving with a velocity of 8 meters per second at 0 seconds after 1 second the velocity is 6 meters per second after 2 seconds the velocity becomes 4 meters per second so as the time increases what happens to the velocity the velocity goes on decreasing so when the velocity of an object decreases with time then the acceleration is said to be negative acceleration so you see the example d at 0 seconds the velocity of the object is 0 meters per second after 1 second the velocity decreases to minus 2 meters per second after 2 seconds the velocity is still decreased by minus 2 so it becomes minus 4 meters per second and so on so when the velocity of an object decreases with time then the object has negative acceleration negative acceleration has another name it is also called as deceleration or retardation zero acceleration in zero acceleration the velocity of the object does not change with time then the object will have zero acceleration for example a jet is moving with a constant velocity of 800 miles per hour along a straight line so since the velocity is 800 miles per hour it is constant it is not changing at all it is moving along a same straight line that means the object will have no acceleration or zero acceleration even though the jet is moving really fast but the velocity is not changing with time and moreover it is moving along a straight line so this is an example of zero acceleration now what could be the example of positive acceleration in your day to day life when a train starts or when a train leaves a station its velocity goes on increasing so it's an example of positive acceleration what would be the example of negative acceleration when brakes are applied to a train when it is reaching the platform 
its velocity goes on decreasing so that would be an example of negative acceleration